Walter, I'm going, will you go and wash your face, you fucking idiot? <laughs> Hello, what's the crap? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Kevin Bridges on British football. Let's go. Any English in? <laughs> Woo, just one person there. <laughs> I don't think we're anti English, Scotland. There's, but people, people confuse us for like, why don't you support us in major football tournaments? It's a, every two years, you, you, let me get this straight, you actively support the other teams because they're playing England, don't they? <laughs> That's pretty much it, mate. <laughs> That's nothing anti-English though. That's just the England football team. Guys like fucking John Terry. He always quit, but he, I look at John Terry in the papers. I, he looks like the kind of guy, if he never made it as a footballer, you would see him outside a pub in Tenerife or something. <laughs> like, you guys want a free shot tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's crazy? I support Chelsea and it's so true. And I feel like if you're not British or you're not, or you didn't grow up in England or Ireland or Scotland, or you'd have no clue what he's saying. His accent is so thick. I do, I do understand. But just if you're, if you're from America, let me know. Can you guys understand what he's saying? I totally get him. But if you're not from the UK, you'd be, you'd be so confused. Sorry. <laughs> What's the plan tonight, lads? Coming down to Bill's head for free sambuca. <laughs> Love it, mate. Yeah. Loads of girls, free shots. Come on down. <laughs> Just say John O sent you, big JT. Fucking free shot, man. <laughs> Scottish football, we're going through an interesting period there. <laughs> Feel the fucking division in the camp there. I only said Scottish football. People going, just you fucking tread carefully. <laughs> I remember watching a Danny Dyer documentary about the old firm. And it was good to see somebody like him. Danny Dyer, he, he's the prick's prick, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Danny Dyer, that's the actor, isn't it? And the old firm is talking about Rangers v Celtic. A big game in Scotland. Big football game. Oof. Good to see him. No, sometimes you just flick through the channels and you see he's on Britain's most deadliest men, him talking to some big wall puncher. Guys, you know, <laughs> I'm the kind of bloke, if, if you don't mess with me, I'll be alright, but if you mess with me, I'll, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Danny Dyer's going, Can I be your friend? <laughs> He'd done a special on football rivalries and he was outside Ibrox in the morning of an old firm game and he's talking to the camera, this guy made me laugh, he's going, he's going Celtic and the Catholics and Rangers and the Protestants, I'm outside the stadium on old firm day, one of football's most deadliest rivalries, I'm here outside the stadium on match day and I'm not afraid to say I am fucking shaking. <laughs> There's people walking behind them, just waving at the camera, going... <laughs> it was like half ten on a Sunday morning. <laughs> He's going, I'm a fucking tough bloke. I've seen some stuff. But today, I'm fucking petrified. OK. <laughs> and the guy walks behind them with a bacon roll and a cup of tea. <laughs> he says, come on, Rangers. He's going, it's fucking kicked off now. <laughs> Uh, it's a tough one to explain. Scottish football, which what actually happened up there, wasn't it? A two horse race? Um, that's it, mate. We lost the horse. That's <laughs> <laughs> Scottish football's become show jumping. <laughs> I don't know how they're feeling. I know we're fucking getting a wee bit you know, tense in there, but I had to laugh at it. Rangers Football Club, they owed a lot of fucking people money. <laughs> I, read, <laughs> I read the list that everybody that was owed money and it just got. Fucking surreal. They would like 60 quid was owed to a local news agent. Right? 60 quid? <laughs> These small sums that made it mental. About 60 quid to a local taxi firm. And then the one that made me chuckle, it said £40 was owed to a local Glasgow face painting company. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to read it a few times. Does that say face painting company? How the fuck did they. 40 quid to a face painting company? 
In the newspaper article never explained why. There was no backup information, just left that there. As if that's a common footballing expense. A face paint face company. Paint. The club have been in financial meltdown and there's some guy running about the boardroom kidding on he's a fucking tiger. <laughs> Oh, that looks massive. Looks like this guy, he must be big in Scotland. Because I've, I've heard his name, but I've hardly ever watched it. I think I've reacted to him once, maybe. I've definitely heard him once before, but I never knew he was this big. Wow, this must be in Scotland. I think he's way bigger in Scotland than England. It's very funny. <laughs> Some guy just opening doors going, Arr! I dare you to do the chairman a fucking will do the chairman a fucking do. <laughs> the boardroom going, will you go and wash your face, you fucking idiot? <laughs> Try to fix his accounts here, sorry about him, boys. <laughs> fucking 40 quid he spent on that. Yeah. Brilliant. Ah, oh, 40 quid, I, but it's a fucking cracker. Do you see his whiskers? <laughs> <laughs> I've never understood that, the religious divide. I've never understood that. One side shouting, fuck the Pope, the other side shouting, God bless the Pope. I don't think the Pope gives a fuck about the SPL. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Pope's a Bundesliga man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was quality. I feel like there's a lot of football in Windows there. If you're a big football fan, you probably get most of the jokes. Oh, God. That was good. That was really good. If you want to see more, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.